This is Polestario, an arcade action game made by Fred Wood. Hello everybody, welcome to a video for this game right here. We're going to be taking a look at Polestario, the newest game uh, made by Fred Wood. I have played uh, his first two games on my channel, uh, not so much in an actual like video setting, but just, or well, a video spotlighting them but uh, channel updates, his other games being Love, stylized in all caps, and Kuso. Both of those are, yeah, like, I, I, I wouldn't say super hard platformers, but just tough platformers. But they're also fair in a sense that you can create your own checkpoints. So that's cool. Um... Highly recommend those games. So yeah, we're just gonna be taking a look at this one right here. And yeah, Fred Wood, uh, if the name seems familiar, for those of you who have been on the internet for a long time, like me, he used to be with Snafu Comics. Uh, though, I mean, they're still going, so it's probably not too far-fetched, but. So yeah, from working on a couple of things with Snafu Comics to becoming a streamer to becoming a game dev. Well, he still does game videos on his YouTube channel. So yeah, we're about to check out this game right here. Uh, just like with Kuso and Love, there are plenty of different modes here for you to choose. There's unlimited, play through all the levels with unlimited lives and the ability to slow down time. Arcade, play through all levels with 100 lives and the ability to slow down time. Challenge, play through all the levels with 25 lives. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't see myself being able to do that anytime soon. Speed run, play through all the levels and compete for the fastest time. And of course, a level select. So yeah, we're just going to be taking a quick look at unlimited mode because it starts me up. Well, I mean, I guess I could just go to level select. Either or will suffice, but I haven't beaten the game yet. It's only a dollar on Steam. Uh, pay for what you want for it. Or pay for what you want for it? What? Pay what you want for it on Itch, and it's also a dollar on Switch. So yeah, let's just go ahead. As you can see, this is not a 2D platformer. It's just an action arcade game. So you have a ship. You have all these different things you need to collect. And, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. So you have a thruster. Uh, I believe it's also mapped to a shoulder button as well. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to go around collecting all of the different things. You have an infinite number of lives in unlimited mode, but you still wanna do your best here. Oh my god. And yeah, if you touch anything, that's a depth, so be careful. You can also hold down a button to slow down time. Uh, in my case, since I'm playing it on Switch, I'm holding down R. I believe L will slow down time as well. But yeah. I'm just being extra careful for achievement purposes because there is an achievement that I feel I can get but it's really only possible on this first level it is definitely the easiest this pretty much is the hardest game he's made but that mostly stems from the control you're, you're really just sort of like free flowing here. There we go. Yay, be level without dying, hell yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much the gist of the game. Ah, crap, and yep, respawning is instant. I love that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to the game. You just have to go around on each level collecting all of these... I don't know what they're called, actually. I don't think they have a name. What was it mentioned? Was there a mention in the tutorial? I don't even recall. Uh, but, yeah, you just want to grab all of these. There is a marker near your ship that shows you where the nearest one is. So that's good. Uh, you're not really going to get too lost. And, yeah, it's just a fun little game to play. 
Sometimes it's quicker to just die and start over than try to get back to where you were. You can really get some momentum with this, too. But yeah, the um, slow-mo is there. You just need a easier time to get accustomed to like what's going on here, or if you just want to have some precision. I believe one of the uh, achievements is to beat a level in 45 seconds, so... Yeah, trying to uh, beat a level without the boost, or without the slowdown, rather, or focus, quickly, it's a mighty tall ass. I was able to beat a level, well, a couple levels, without ever using the uh, slowdown and focus, or whatever it's called. Sorry, I'm just, like, in major concentration mode, so I can't really, like, remember what things are called. Forgive me. But yeah, it's not that bad of a game, or not that hard of a game, not that bad to deal with just the difficulty here. There are no difficulty options, though, like, so... You get what you get when you start it up. But it's not insurmountable. I've made it pretty far. I really hope this keeps my save, though. I don't know, I, I think I'm past the one-third mark. There's not too many levels here. It's only a dollar. But I do recommend picking it up. And picking up Love and Kuso while you're at it. Yeah, I just want to show off the level I'm on. Yep, it did save my progress. Okay, 121 deaths. Don't laugh. So yeah, uh, as you can see, shit's pretty real in this one. Oh my god, it was a little smiley face. I would like to think that was a reference to melon bread. Not everything is a reference to melon bread, but I can dream, okay? He's awesome. Even though he doesn't really do much. He just smiles and tries to kill you. A lot of things do that, actually. Anything down here? No. Oh, okay, so... Wow, I just have to go up in here, huh? Oh my god. I'm actually shocked I was able to live that long. I'm trying to do this without the focus, but I don't know who I'm trying to show off for. <laughs> Ah, crap. Okay, yeah. Focus. Allows for more precise movements. And the key to here, like, unless you're trying to, like, speed run this or, um... Oh, my God. Or get the achievement where you beat a level in 45 seconds. Just short bursts. So you can, like, better control yourself. You don't need to hold down that thrust for as long as possible. Ah, crap. It's all about being precise. And once you master that, which I'm kind of unable to do, the world's your oyster. Come on. We can do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I may be using the... Um, thrust like as a pretty or not thrust focus as a pretty major crutch but at the same time I regret nothing it's there for a reason and that reason is to help me live okay I'm just gonna go on up in here I, I meant to do that just trying to get the point across that you need to be careful. But yeah, all you have is the momentum of the thrust to guide you as you rotate the ship in the direction that you wish to go. God, how is he still living? He's done it. Okay. Ooh, this looks nice. Also, the music Great. Music's always good in his games, though. Like, just really good. And now, with Steam's new policy, you can buy the soundtracks to games separately from the games themselves. Oh, God. 
but I already own the game, so they're just gonna be DLC for me, but that's cool. I highly recommend checking out, like, his... Oh my god, game library. I mean, this one might not be for everyone, but Kuso and Love, those are honestly, like, just really fun games. I enjoyed my time with them. Not the longest things in the world, but hey, not everything needs to be a, uh, like, 80 hour epic. Plus, I just really like that style of 2D platform, or just challenging, really, like, not, not really requiring, oh my god, I said that so weird, not really requiring precision, but just requiring you to be on your toes and unlike what I'm doing here and not making stupid mistakes, yo. Well, yeah, I'm enjoying this for what it is. It's good. It's an enjoyable time. I have not taken my hand off of the focus in like the last three minutes. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. This is like my practice. Don't you worry. One day I'm going to be zooming through this. You're going to see me at all the GDQs and you're going to be like, dang, son. I didn't know he could play this game that fast. Like just two weeks ago, we were watching him like just holding down the focus button nonstop. I thought this was the speed of the game watching him play it, but nah, he's showing me. He, he has the world record and everything. And I would be like, yeah. I have no clue where I was going with that. Oh well, yeah, we're probably just gonna beat one or two more levels in this here quick look. Oh my god. I honestly did not think I got that. Hitboxes on these are pretty generous. I appreciate that. Um. Whoa, this is interesting. Oh, I beat it? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, uh, that's my slow motion time. <laughs> oh man, I think I did leave the game running too, so. Yeah, yeah, 15 minutes, five seconds, okay. So yeah, um, I was holding down the R button for 15 straight minutes. Well, not straight minutes, but total. <laughs> I'm actually shocked I beat it. I'm stunned. That last level, that's hilarious. Okay, um, but real quick, just all the achievements here. Beat the game, beat the game in under 10 minutes. Oh, I can do that. Find 10 collectibles. Huh? Wait, there's hidden stuff? Go through the gate. Ride the circle nonstop for 30 seconds. Beat a level without dying. Uh, beat a level without slow motion. Beat each main stage in YOLO mode. You only live once. Beat a level another 45 seconds. And there's secret levels. I assume I get those through the collectibles. I didn't see anything I could really collect. Though to be fair, I wasn't really exploring every stage like I guess I could have. And these are all the options. You do have different pointers and ships you can select. Uh, these are the pointers to show you the direction where the things are. I don't know why that's giving me like fly wrench vibes, even though that's clearly not fly wrench, but whatever. Uh, the ship select, you unlock more ships as you get achievements. Yeah, video ball. Ooh, I like the 8-bit ship. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna try to go for all of them, but those secrets... Wonder if somebody has a guide up on Steam already. I have no clue where to get them. And here are the credits that function just like the uh, actual game, so... Yep, you need to boost them up. And that's my trunks, that's where you can follow Fred on Twitter. Special thanks to... All of them, and yeah, as you can see, Nuclear Throne, Luftrousers, 
Risk of Rain and Video Ball and Ultra Bugs. I believe uh, the like some of the locked ships are related to uh, those things. Well, obviously we saw that with Video Ball, but I really want to see the Nuclear Throne one. I love Nuclear Throne. It's so much fun. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much the game. Uh, I don't know, I don't really have much else to show. Where does it start me off? Oh, it starts me off there, but it does count as me beating it, right? Wow, well, I, I, I guess it does. Wait, I'm missing some stages? What is... Wait, I unlocked a secret one? Oh, cause that's a... Well, shoot, let, let's do that. <gasps> okay, this is fucking cool. Uh, so this is... Is this an actual stage from... Love or Kuso? But regardless, this is set up to look like a stage from one of his platformers. This might be a one-on-one -on -one recreation, which is amazing. I'm, I, I love this. And I'm going to try my best not to screw up here. Famous last words, okay. So yeah, uh, we're gonna beat this on camera. And then we'll call it a day. Cap, ain't you gonna take your hand off that focus? <laughs> no. Get out of here, you crazy palooka. I need to focus so I don't die. Also, this is like really cramped. <laughs> I, mean, I probably could do it without the focus, but uh, why put myself through that? Oh my god, I think this is a one on one recreation. This is so neat. I love when devs include callbacks to their previous works in like newer games. Of course, these are like trampolines, but I can't touch them now because I'll die. I probably could have been following them in the order that you actually would get them if you were to go through the level normally, but eh, whatever works best for me. Oh my God, it's even using the music too. I love this. I'm gonna listen to the music. Okay. Even though it's kind of looping now, but you can still appreciate a good loop. Alrighty. He's done it with the focus, so there's really not much to be proud of here, but hey, a victory is a victory. Dang. It's fine arrow tells me where to go um okay thank god he's done it beat secret level four hell yeah hell yeah the time isn't looking too nice but i don't care So if I hadn't slow mo through that, then my time would have been like a minute thirty. <laughs> oh man. So what did that unlock? Well, not one of these. Just want to check and see. <gasps> Yay! So yeah, that's the little uh, character you control and love in Kuso. I was gonna make that my ship for old time's sake. Uh, so yeah, that's Polestario. If you're interested in the game, uh, it's on Steam, itch.io, and Switch eShop. It's only a dollar. 
pick it up. It's it's a fun little thing to play to pass the time. All of his games are really. Uh, highly recommend Kuso and Love. Just fun games, and they're not even over five dollars. So, yeah. Well, I say that they're not over five dollars because they are five dollars. I believe Love is anyway. I know Kuso is. I should really do my research before I do these freaking videos. But yeah, this has been Polstario. Links in the description down below to where you can follow the dev and pick up this here game. And I will see you all next time with something else. Goodbye. Oh, it actually isn't called focus. It's just called slow time. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Goodbye. Just just had to show that off. Yo, I beat a level in under 45 seconds. It was only the first level, but still, it counts. I'm, I'm still playing even though I'm done with the video. I'm, I'm having fun, damn it. So what I unlock? Oh, a cloaked ship. Why would you ever pick that? That is so hard to see. That's definitely hard mode. What was go through the gate and complete? Oh, each stage in YOLO mode. Ooh. Oh yeah, uh, I will have my hand on the slow time at all times for that. I can definitely do that. Um, go through the gate. And then where was the one that said like collectibles? Find 10 collectibles. Hmm. Oh, so I guess the ones that aren't listed on the ship page are what unlock the... No. Wait, no, yeah. Yeah, the ones that aren't on the ship page could be the ones that unlock new stages. Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, this has 10 collectibles... Ride the circle for 30 seconds. Oh no, no, that has that too, but this doesn't have that go through the, oh no, it does. Well then I guess I'm just talking out of my ass. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably look up what I have to do to unlock everything, but yeah, I beat the stage in 45 seconds, hell yeah. All right, for real this time, <laughs> goodbye.